Joining me right now is a Texas Congressman and House Energy and Commerce Committee member Michael Burgess. Congressman, things just go from bad to worse at the border. We know what's going on there. Five million having uh, crossed into America illegally on Joe Biden's watch. When is this going to end? Look, it's going to end when it's made a priority and the security side has to be the priority. Uh, everyone argues that we need immigration reform to happen simultaneously. That won't work. Uh, that has happened before and it failed back in 1986. We need to establish security. So later this morning, the Texas delegation is doing a press conference and unveiling what the Texas delegation would prefer to see as security at our southern border. But the tragedy of, you know, the president saying that the border or he had more important things to do than go to the border. And this morning, a, a young wife is waking up without her husband, children are waking up without their father. I mean, this is the type of human tragedy that the president, unfortunately, is deciding to endorse. We have to get security on our southern border. Well, unfortunately, things are about to get worse. You know that. Title 42 is going away. It's expected to end in two weeks, with many border officials predicting a huge surge at the border once Title 42 goes away. Um, how many people do you think will come to the border every day? Because the, the Biden administration officials said that it's going to be 18,000 people a day showing up in Texas. Right now, it's six to seven to 8,000 people a day. 18,000 people a day. What is that going to look like? It's going to look like absolute chaos wow. and nothing, nothing, underscore nothing is being done to prepare communities in Texas and, and other border states wow. for what is going to be happening. What happens to their school district when suddenly they've got double the population next September? What happens to law enforcement in their hospitals when suddenly the, the population of people that is going to be needing those services vastly increases and no one warned them it was coming? except everyone knows it's coming. It's this is the reason why I think Greg Abbott was spot on to, to, to be transitioning people to, to other locations. It at least got other outlets on the news media talking about our problem yeah. in Texas and Arizona, New Mexico. Uh, before that, it was just been, it's been radio silence other than, than media outlets such as yours. And thank you, Maria, for covering this because it is so important. Yeah. But, but otherwise, it was just no one wanted Wanted to talk about it, we'll ignore it and it will go away. But when I queried Secretary Becerra in one of our budget hearings, what are your plans to warn and equip uh, small counties and, and municipalities yeah. for what is coming their way? He had no answer. What about this uh, new uh, potential legislation from Senators Christian Cinema and Tom Tillis? They say they're working on a bipartisan deal. It would boost border security while providing a pathway to citizenship. For the two million dreamers, Congressman, uh, you're headed to a presser right after this, hosted by Texas delegation to discuss the border, as you just mentioned. Uh, what, what about this? Is, does it have legs? What, what are you hearing from colleagues in terms of this potential legislation? Well, number one, it, uh, I mean, it, no one consulted us before they got together and did this. Uh, it's a press conference. It's a way to get uh, a headline or two before the end of the year. But realistically, I mean, we are in the lamest of lame duck sessions right now. Mm. Congress is literally out of gas. Every ounce of energy should be working to provide funding for the government so that it doesn't collapse at the end of the year. Yeah. And uh, then, of course, Republicans take over January 3rd. And then we need to be very intentional. This needs to be a priority. That's the purpose of the Texas delegation. But it's not... I, I would disagree that you can simultaneously fix immigration and border security. Uh, 1986, the simpson Mazzoli Act, signed by President yeah. Reagan, uh, you, you give us amnesty for everyone, and then by golly, we'll make sure you have your security. Yeah. We've still been waiting, and my constituents, uh, they've had enough of promises like that. Unbelievable. Show us the security first. Congressman, real quick, before you go, you said when Republicans take over in January. What if Kevin McCarthy doesn't have the votes? Oh, he'll have the votes. Okay. Uh, look, you know, this is... This is a sideshow right now that people want to talk about, but we have a responsibility to d deliver our appropriations bills, to deliver a budget. Yeah, for we sure. can't do that if we continue to fight amongst ourselves. All right, Congressman, it's great to talk with you this morning. Thanks very much for Good your deal. leadership on Thank all you. of that.